All right, so I've got an 8,000 BTU unit here. Uh, that was Costco. 8,000 BTU. Um, I don't know what I paid for that. Probably 180 or something. But these are sitting at, Co at Walmart. 10,000 BTU. You know, the window, not the window unit. It sits in the window, exhaust into the window. I kind of get tired from carrying that up and down the steps. Or I could just roll this into the corner next to my brand new Costco. Telescope or something? But these are normally 400 something at Walmart. And they're now clearanced at 199 I mean, I see at least six of them in different Walmarts. They'll probably drop again. Um, especially this last... This last drop is 822 so probably in a week or two it'll drop again oh no 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 all no, right this was updated 99 nine. so they're not going to drop for uh, maybe another month or something people are probably buying so anyway this is an arctic king 10,000 btu there's your model number i don't know if this is any good like this this was this was torn like this. This was still attached over here, but I opened it up and I could see that it hasn't been opened. This is, these two shafts are still in. These things are still in good condition, not touched. So it doesn't look like it was a return. Uh, I'm sure the box has damage on it. Crush right there and it's got a hole right there. Raisin, mm, making me hungry. A hole right there. This is probably why this particular one's still sitting in the store. It should have a remote control. But this kind of crap with a hole in it, people are too scared to buy it because people need everything perfect because they don't know how to fix shit. So just having a hole like that, they're not going to buy it. Uh, hopefully it didn't punch a hole in the plastic or whatever, but even if it did, epoxy. $2 epoxy will, will seal that right the fuck up. Um, while I go and throw out this raisin. Um, I got this same unit from the same Walmart. This is an air fuel fryer. What is this? Don't show me the model number. That's good. I got this same unit. It was 75% off. No one would buy it because the box had a big hole on the side. So anyway, um, and for those things, what's cool about those is all the filters went on clearance for like a dollar a couple months ago. So I bought a ton of those. So anyway, I'm going to open this up and see what we got. And again, if that hole did crack any of the plastic, I'm not even going to give a shit. I mean, if it's extremely bad, I'll just go buy one from a different store and then return it. However, $2 epoxy will fix that righty quick. And there's even tape that'll fix that without an issue. Um, that's what you get in 2019. There's epoxy for everything. Sorry, let me let me yank this out of here and have to tip on the side and pull it out. All right, so I figured I'd just film it. The best way to get something out that this heavy, uh, I could tip it on the side and pull this out or I can put the whole thing put this side upside down and just pull pull the box up off of it but I think since we have our handles I'm just going to put it on its side and pull the unit out like this Oops. Well, I have to get this thing to stop bending down there come on buddy you can do it. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, so no one had this out. You can see the straps are still on it. Although you can just pull these straps right off. Alrighty. Well, this is the whole side, so we'll see what the what sort of damage. There's anything else in the box, so no. This was the whole side. See a, see a 
scratch. And that could be an issue, and that's your drain, right? That could be an issue. Let's see. What is this? I don't know what this is. I think this is a, this is a drain. But, right, let's, let's inspect what that is. Alright, that's a plastic thing. And it all is not damaged. Alright. Let's put this back on. Alright. Now let's get these straps off. And we see that these straps do come off easily, so that doesn't mean. Oh, shoot. Do I not have the light on? Oh, yeah, I do have the light on. Why does it seem so dark? Straps here. Power cable. I don't know what these are. Oh, this is for the window, your exhaust window. Oh, cool. Just to expand the window. Cut it to expand it whatever size you need. So you can have a big ass window. It looks like I'm going to have to cut this to fit this window. It's just a non standard. Oh, right, I'm going to have to. Right. So I'm going to have to cut that to fit. So that, so this piece goes into your window, and you, you can adjust. Huh. I wonder if that's the exact size of my window there. That'd be cool. So I might have to chop off that much. And you would think they would try to do that. Oh yeah, cool. Cool. So that is my window. All right, yeah, so they made that perfect. So I don't have to cut anything. That's my window opening. Cool. That is very cool. So no cutting needed. And your hot air exhaust is going to go out here. Because you need to take the hot air from in the room and blow it the hell out the window. room. Hairy Italians. Many hairy Mediterranean people. Alright, this popped off. This probably goes into this window somehow. And it goes in like that. Yeah? Yeah, buddy. Should I click it in now? Oh, sexual chocolate. Look at that. Mmm, yummy. Alright, so. This is your seal that's gonna go to window to whatever. This looks like. Is this your expansion tube? Power cable and your directions. This is your expanding tube, which will go into there. And I assume the other side of this goes into your unit, buddy. Why is it not fit? It's there. It doesn't fit in this side. Oh, I see. Probably goes in like that somehow. Alright. So 
that to that. All right. Now the beans. You take the bottom off because that's how you do things. You take the bottom off. Uh, we can change it up. We've got some wheels. We got ourselves some wheels. Look for damage, buddy. Your mama don't like damage. Yeah, foam in there. This must be a drain. Sorry, this must be a drain tube. I keep looking beyond the camera and not aiming to where I am. Alright. So then this is the top, which now fell off. Nothing, nothing in there, nothing in there. And so now we will stand the buddy up. All right. Oh, looks like we've got a drain here. Um. your air air that's what the other one's going to attach all right so that take it in the twist and lock yeah so this twists on locks or something or it just slides in and locks Some people like to read directions. I'm not one of those people. All right, so that's that's locked in. How do you release that? Oh, up here. Yeah. Okay. Releasing that like that. So you're taking the the thinner end. This is the fat ends, and you're sticking the thin end down in there. You know what I'm saying? See so a thick end. Goes in there and then it clicks in up there. This looks like a hose drain. Doesn't this have its own drain area? What sort of goodies are in here? This looks just looks like just the filter or something. I put those there just in case I want to return it for a good day. Right, it looks like it needs a screw to get in there. A screw. So I don't know what the point of that was because this doesn't come off. Alright. Up here. What do we got up here? We've got opening this. This is our our screen to protect our, our things. All the all the fins look good, except over here they're a little crooked. Looks like someone at the factory hit it. Oh my god, these aren't aren't even. Oh my god, it's not gonna cool properly. Oh no, these two are connected together. Oh my god, I'm gonna return it because these two fins aren't connected together. Oh no, I got a big gap. I got a big gap in there. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at them, they're all destroyed over here where someone hit them. Stupid factory people. Oh my god, they're crushed up there. I'm gonna return it. I want five dollars off. Alright. Those are in good condition. You have to wonder how this all happened. Why is there why is there bent ones down there? Why are those bent? There's some crooked ones over here. I mean this happens just by just by touching them. I, I mean these things are paper thin. Because they're trying to dissipate heat 
All right, so this goes down like this and clicks in like that. What do we got on this side? Anything? Let's look at the, the make and model. Uh, 11 amps. I wonder what the, what the air conditioner, the window one, how many amps the window one is. Thing going to. Are you going to focus? Are you focused? Jeez, what is the deal? Just focus. What are you doing? OMG. Oh my god, for real? I'll spend like 10 minutes trying to get this shit to focus. I mean, that's about as good as I can go. I don't know what it do. Just focus now. All right, so anyway, there's my serial number. Whatevs. We are zoomed out. We're zoomed out. Okay. One more blue. One more tapey dapey. Come on, buddy. I'm assuming there's a container in here that catches the water. And that drain is just optional. Because that's how most of these are. So let's flip this puppy around. Because the door handle opening. Uh, what? I thought this was a door. Am I stupid? What? I thought there was a door opening. Uh, uh, with the skunky stuff in there. See that? What is that stuff in there? I thought this thing opened on the front. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. I forgot to check it for fingerprints. Now it's got all my fingerprints on it. Because fingerprints will definitely tell you that someone don't use this. But it doesn't look like someone has. Um, I'm confused. I thought this was a door. I mean, they taped it all up like it's a door. Don't make me have to read directions. I don't do that. Huh. Well, the water's got to go somewhere. Is that my hinder? So I'm going to look for the door. There's got to be a door. I thought these had containers. All right. All right. So in the directions bag, there are more parts. Let's see what's in here. All right. Yeah, that's right. So we got our, we got a remote and some batteries. Boy, that's a big remote. And why is there a black mark on there? Hopefully that's supposed to be there. Although it's not it's not extending all the way to the bottom or all the way to the top, so that's most likely supposed to be there. Like I'm thinking it's a it's a, an LCD crack thing, but it, you crack this kind of um, thing. If it was the LCD display screwed up, it would extend all the way up top to bottom. And it's sealed like it's cookies or something. And what is this? This connects into there. Oh, this is so you can wrap the cable. Your, um, this thing. This thing. You connect this up there and it makes a little thing so you can wrap your, your power cable around that. Why read directions? Just be smart. Alright. And this stuff. I don't know. This is useless. And this tube. Where's this tube supposed to go? <laughs> I'm gonna stick this tube. All right, the tube does fit up here. This is where I, I un... Damn it, this is where I unplug this thing. So, I unplug... This looks like a hose. This looks like a hose will, will tie that. So I took this out. 
and this will connect to there. And then what do you do? I connect it down to here. <laughs> so it reuses its own water. I think this had a, had a hole in it. This had a, a plug in it. What the hell? <laughs> really? <laughs> that can't be how that's supposed to be. It feeds itself its own water. Come on, man. All right. <laughs> that's like drinking your own piss. <laughs> mm, why am I laughing? That's not that's not cool, bro. All right. All right. So the remote that lying up there is a separator. Um, it says, it says the upper drain is for when you're in dehumidifier mode. You drain water out in the bottom one is your normal AC mode. And it says, um, it'll show an error, an error code P something when the bottom is full. And you're supposed to roll it somewhere and then drain it out. Look at my... Assume those are my hand marks all over it. So this snaps in into there, get it up and going into the window. And then this this is in the middle of the window. I didn't put any foam in there yet. And then of course when you put this in your window, you're gonna want I didn't do it yet. So I'm not gonna leave this here. You wanna put is that mold? That's awesome. Since this is this kind of window and you can't lock it in position, I don't, I don't think you can. No. You would put a stick. You're going to put a stick here to here so no one can open the window. And then you want to do a stick from here to this, oops, sorry, to this, this lip of the window, this type of window. So what we're showing is you want to put a stick from here to all the way up there so that makes it so this window can't open and then you want to do a stick from here oh damn it you want to do a stick from here to the lip of this window so no one else like can do this and pull this window down and get in your house so you get so you need two sticks um if you can't cut them exact then you just put some like foam or a towel in there and then jam the stick in so it's tight. Generally, you just do you do one on this side and then the other one to the window ledge on that side. Or you can be crazy and do two on both sides. They just have to be so that wiggling the window, they're not going to fall out and then nobody can get in. So anyway, where'd the remote go? Let's try to turn this puppy on. It says it's 76 in the house. And I looked it up. And this one, this I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. I'm not sure. This is saying that this unit is B, 8,000 BTU, seven amp. Where this unit is 10,000. Well, it's actually saying 14,000 BTU, but I think the new stands it has to go by the 10,000 BTU, but it's 11.9 amp, which might be a problem. That might put this circuit. On this side of the house in jeopardy i think it trips at 15 amp now we got a tv which the tv only uses probably 500 watts although it's an older tv i should check to see what wattage this tv is let's see where is it 2008 it uses 335 watts all right, so that's easy. And then in here we have LEDs, bulbs, so that's only like eight watts. So that's good. So this TV isn't using that many watts. I just gotta hope this circuit isn't connected to the kitchen area, because then there's gonna be a problem. Because everything else in here is way below 335. The bulbs are in there, are nine watt. Um, cable box. Those might be 20 watt. Alright. 3 
5 times 12, that's 36 watt, but it's not using that whole 36, so. So we got that, that's a good box. I think it might be a hit on the electrical bill, although the, the, the intended purpose is this. Higher BTU is to cool the room quicker, and when you cool the room quicker, you get to stay off more. That's why you would do econo mode. It said econo mode. I don't see it on here. Um, all right. So that's going to be that's going to be eleven point nine amps with the TV. You're going to be let's just say twelve and a half amps. And again, that's not going to pull maximum three thirty five watt. That's only a max volume. Um, those little bulbs are four watts each. Uh, I guess I guess would be good. All right, let's turn this puppy on. And what are we on? We're on fan. Let's be on. I think cool. I didn't catch that. This this door opened up. See that? The door opened up. Now it's throwing uh, nice cool air up here. Let's see. It's not that cool yet. I didn't tell it what temperature I wanted want it to be. Here, what temperature is it in here? Oh, maybe that's why it's not too crazy. Well, it's down to 54. Well, let's tell it um, we want it at 7. door just closed a little. I wonder why. Why are you closing the door? That's kind of cool. What is that? That thing opens and closes by itself. I wonder which swing and follow me are. Let's see what LED is. Oh, LED turns off the display. Alright. Well, I guess there's your modes. I wonder what swing does. I should read the directions. Maybe swing was what that door was doing. Let's see. Oh yeah, I guess swing is that door. Let's check out the heat on the cable. Well, it obviously works. I had to read the directions and find out what these modes are. I thought it had Econo mode. It just sounded like I went into lower gear.
don't know what the hell follow me does. The compressor either just kicked on or it, went, or it uh, turned off. Looks like it turned off. The temperature's still on. Yeah, that's part of the econo mode. Let's see if we got some. Oh yeah, let's, let's try that out. That's throwing heat out of the room, buddy. Well, it's definitely throwing heat out. But as you can see, you can see it's dropping. The heat's at a... Huh, why's it all dropping now? So the heat, heat was at 100. So it looks like it's losing 20, 20 degrees up, up through to, to the room. Definitely turn the compressor off. I can't check the temperature in the room to see what it is. Well, the temperature did go down. Jeez, you wonder? Wonder if it, uh... Huh. Wonder if it actually did get the room down. Oh, yeah. I just lowered it to 73. Let's go to 72. Oops. We want like econo mode. If it gets the room up to temperature, you want the fan and everything to turn off. I thought it had that mode. Spaniola, bro. Yeah, alright. Well, I guess the other one had the econo mode, not this one. Alright. Let's move a hell of a lot more air. Oh yeah, there's the heat. There's the heat, buddy. Yeah, it's getting heat out of this room quickly. Alright, well there you go. Maybe I'll look in the directions. $200. Walmart. It doesn't have heating features. Which pissed off my daughter, but whatever. Okay, so supposedly the sleep is the Econo mode. It'll turn the fans off. And the 
swing mode is this thing going up and down. what I just did. I was just playing with the fan mode. I guess you got fast, medium, and slow. Let's turn off the sleep mode. And then these are your, your modes. This is AC. This is uh, just fan. And this is dehumidifier. And I don't know what the auto does. Beyond that, there you go. $200. Uh, I guess it's worth it because it's normally $400, $360 or more at Walmart. So go check them out at your own Walmart, buddy. And make sure you got the current to handle it. Make sure you're not going to trip your circuit. Okay, so the follow me mode um, it makes the unit test the temperature where the remote control is. So if I walk into this other room and the temperature is hotter over here, the unit is going to try to get the temperature where I am to the temperature that's set. Plugged in. OMG. I wonder what that you what that means. Oh, that one. I wonder if that one means on. All right. So anyway, that's this unit. Um, I don't know. I don't know jack about air conditioners and 10,000 BTU, but I know $200, that $199 is a hell of a lot cheaper than $400 or $350. Uh, maximum, you know, minimum $150 less, so whatever. It's just the current. Um, just the, the, the 12 amps is the only thing that worries me, but 
if this thing can move the amount of air that it looks like it can, then it's not going to be using that, that amount of current. It's just going to be doing the current for the fan, which probably is probably only about 5 amps for the fan, which seems high. But there you go, buddy. I definitely will buy it. Or wait till it drops again. Although I did point out it just dropped. All right, you know. Not bubbles anymore? No, but it was bubbles. Did you have bubbles? Bubbles are all is a little tired. I just walked up. You got your wife beater on? What is a wife beater? <laughs> when you get married, you might know. Oh, I know what you mean a hat. <laughs> no, the shirt. <laughs> 